The latest buzz from 90 Day Fiancé is quite shocking. Word on the street is that Michael has filed for a temporary protection order, TPO, against Angela. This move seems to stem from Angela's ongoing aggressive and abusive behavior toward Michael, which fans have seen play out on the show. Angela's known for her fiery temper and physically intimidating actions, pushing Michael to finally seek legal protection. No, I don't give a goddamn about no money, Calm down, You and your goddamn money, Filing for a TPO is a significant step for Michael, as it indicates a serious concern for his safety. It also highlights the ongoing issues within their tumultuous relationship. Fans of the show have expressed concern over Angela's treatment of Michael, and this legal action underscores the severity of the situation. A TPO can provide Michael with a legal safeguard against further physical or emotional harm from Angela. This development may lead to further legal proceedings or changes in their relationship status, depending on how the situation evolves. The decision to file for a TPO is often a difficult one, but it appears to be a necessary measure for Michael to protect himself from Angela's abusive behavior. There is a problem here! And you are the problem! Is that why you're sleeping in a different room? The whore is here in New Jersey. I was just tweeted badly by her. Whenever she's upset, she can do whatever she wants. And I, you know, the law, yeah, I don't want any issue. I don't want any bad record of my name. So I tend to, you know, keep it cool. But to be honest, I was, I was scared. You know, sometimes when she's very upset, you know, mm. she made me feel scared. No, I don't give a goddamn about no money. Calm down. You and your goddamn money. Will you hey, calm down? Listen, don't hate me. Don't get in my Do not get in my Michael from 90 Day Fiancé has filed a lawsuit against Angela, accusing her of treating him like a slave and even attempting to end his life. This explosive revelation has sent ripples through the fan base of the popular TLC show. What is the meaning of this? You bitch. What the meaning of this? Do you think the show changed Angela? Well, um, the show didn't change her. I mean, she, she, she wants to be that way. Michael's lawsuit also targets TLC, claiming that the network aired footage that showcased Angela's mistreatment of him during their marriage, adding to his public humiliation. For those who have followed the tumultuous relationship between Michael and Angela, these allegations might not come as a complete surprise. Angela's behavior towards Michael has often been criticized by viewers, with many pointing out her controlling and demeaning attitude. However, the severity of Michael's claims has taken the controversy to an entirely new level. Michael's legal action is a significant move towards addressing what he describes as severe mistreatment. The lawsuit not only seeks justice for the alleged abuse, but also calls out TLC for its role in broadcasting these incidents without intervention. This case could potentially lead to a broader conversation about the responsibility of reality TV networks in protecting the well-being of their participants. This lady is too much tossing out F-bombs like she's breathing them in. Seriously, her relationship guru and therapist need to be shown the door. If my daddy was alive, he would have sat here and waited you to come over here and he would have hand slapped you right in your mouth. And slapped me. My dad would have beat your Yo, did you catch what she just yelled? She was all like threatening your man, saying your daddy's gonna slap him. If that ain't screaming daddy issues, I don't know what does. Her tantrums are wild and out of line. Like seriously the worst. My car. Michael! Come on, Michael! I paid for this car, bitch. Tell him I'll break the windows next. But girl, that ain't even the worst part. She's owning her role as the ultimate tyrant so hard that her Nigerian husband straight up ghosted her. I'm talking about Michael disappearing off the map in February 2024. He legit thought his life was in danger. And to get this, he later posted a message about going MIA on all social media, but through somebody else's account. Like what even? Hello guys, this is Michael. Uh, just want to quickly make this video to inform the public that I'm not in any social media 
plus on right now. And get this, he even called the cops from his burner phone to say he wasn't missing. But wait for it. He dropped a bombshell claiming his wife was abusing him. Like what? And a burner phone? There's a whole lot Michael's been keeping under wraps besides himself. So what's the scoop, Morning Glory? We need to investigate with a capital I. Michael and Angela's marriage is full of more holes than Swiss cheese, duh. But who's surprised? It's like a can of beans way past its expiration date. Their love-hate relationship has soured and hit rock bottom. Angela dropped the bombshell about her hubby's vanishing act around February 23rd. She was straight up baffled, like, why would her better half go ghost without a word? Uh, right. She chalked it up to him not getting his green card and feeling used boohoo. But seriously, ever think it might be all that in-your-face aggression 24 hours? No, I'm not. Now say what the want to say. I'm an American. Land of the free! Michael was so fed up with Angela's fire-breathing ways that he up and left ditching his ID and wallet behind. But hold on to your hats, folks, because what happened next is gonna leave you speechless. Celebrity blogger John Yates dropped a bombshell on us all when he revealed this juicy tidbit. Not only was Michael found, but he was also trying to keep his location a secret from Angela. 90 Day Fiance turned into a 90 Day Fiasco real quick for these two, and calling it a fiasco is being kind. The drama is bubbling over, and things have taken a spicy twist. A Reddit user jumped into the mix with a wild tale. Turns out Angie's a use toward Michael goes way beyond just shouting matches. Word is, a taser came into play during one of their epic blowouts on a trip to California. The 90-day fandom is up in arms, and they can't believe Angela's outrageous behavior is being aired for all to see. And as if that wasn't enough, there's a whole other level of drama with Angie's financial abuse. This dragon lady's got a lot going on, and none of it's good. No, I don't give a goddamn about no money, Calm down, you and your goddamn money, Imagine blowing through your spouse's cash just to get some fancy new dentures, leaving him high and dry. Sure, it was partly about shedding a few pounds and tweaking her boobs, but that's beside the point. The kicker? He had to beg her for some cash on his own birthday. And if you think that's bad, buckle up. It gets worse. Angela's not satisfied with just screaming and threatening Michael. She's got to break him down emotionally, too. She's got a real knack for keeping him financially dependent on her. Michael loves hustling on social media to make some extra cash, but nope, Angela's not having any of that. It's clear as day. Angela isn't after a husband. She's hunting for an NPC to boss around that's a non-playable character for you millennials. She's all about obedience with zero personality, wanting to toy with Michael and keep him on a tight leash. That giant tantrum? Mild by Angela's standards. With more details leaking out of this marriage mess, one thing's obvious. Angela is totally bonkers. Not only did she snatch his passport and lock it up, but she's also low-key deranged. She smashed his phone in a fit of rage. Passionate? Sure, but not in a good way. Was this isolation? Oh, definitely not the only time. Angela loves locking things up, including Michael when she goes out. Is there an abuser's handbook she's following? This is a textbook. Luckily, burner phones exist, and Michael spilled all about Angela's crazy antics and survived to tell the tale. Now, Angela feels betrayed and she's seeing red. She's got one thing on her mind, revenge. They say revenge is is best served cold, but Angela wants to serve up some hot deportation papers to her man. Wondering what Michael went through? A lot. And it wasn't pretty. The man lost his freedom the moment he stepped into the land of the free no passport, no phone. The first casualty was Michael's social life since Angela didn't want him chatting with his buddies. His time in the US was miserable. Angela pressed all his stress buttons. Here's a tip. Putting someone under house arrest is not, but that's exactly what Angela did behind closed doors. The plot thickens. Angela latched onto Michael like Velcro, not letting him step out without her. Possessive much? The man couldn't even hold down a job if he wanted to enjoy his TLC paycheck. Angela was the ultimate gatekeeper, even putting him in a social media chokehold no accounts allowed. No wonder his world was falling apart. But wait. There's more to this story. What about Angela's side of things? How's she handling the info overload that Michael unloaded like unwanted baggage? Well, here's the scoop. She's in straight up denial mode. Subtlety isn't her thing. And she slammed all of Michael's claims, calling them lies and branding Michael as a scammer. She's definitely giving off main character vibes in this twisted drama. Does Michael stand a chance? Angela's on a warpath, pulling out all the stops, even dropping serious cash to go after him. No, she's not hiring a hitman, thankfully, but she is splashing out 10 grand on 
three lawyers. She's not joking about kicking her hubby off American soil. Angela's been going full throttle on her social media, trying to deflect some of the heat from Michael's disappearance. Call it damage control, but Angela's deep in victim mode, throwing all kinds of shade at her husband in her posts. Recognizing a golden opportunity, she's also channeling her inner motivational guru, posting feel-good photos of herself with uplifting song lyrics. Dare we say she's had a glow up and even looks fierce in some of her pics? It's weird and getting weirder by the minute. In some strange alternate universe, here's a blast from the past reminding us that it didn't always start this way. Angela and Michael had their fair share of cozy, awe moments. Life works in bizarre ways, and here are the two celebrating their third anniversary. That's a lot of years of social media madness since 2018. We're now in season eight of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After, and these two really need to get a reality check. Trigger warning, this might give you the ick, but here's a snippet. Years. I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, sexy Nigerian's back. What's your vibe on Michael and Angela's latest drama dive? Think things will smooth out or get messier? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you thought Angela was a handful, just hold on Natalie's about to take things up a notch with Mike in the next video.